Yo guys, what is up? It's Teach here, coming at you again with another video, and we are on to our Dino a Day review series, and we're on to the Pomonoscorpius. Now, this is probably one of the most underused tames, in, in all honesty, probably in the entire Ark realm. Um, it's something that is just, you know, an absolutely incredible tame to use, that a lot of people just forget that it has any value to it. It is something that you should consider using, but you know, that's, that's my personal opinion. And that's something that you just need to think about, but that's me. So what are the stats on this guy? Now, stats are pretty simple on the Pullman Scorpius. Uh, it's got decent health. It takes reduced damage to bullets and a few other things uh, because it has that chitin armor bonus. Um, but outside of that, you only want to pump one thing and unless you want to be a real troll. I have seen people move because these things go increased movement speed crazy fast so you know if you wanted to you could make a super speed scorpion but that's not my thing if you just absolutely crank a melee on a pulmonal scorpius just just crank it see what happens um there is some really interesting things that you can do i mean there's 2069 melee that's a lot of melee I mean, if you if you want to be honest about that, that's that's a huge amount of melee. I don't think you can reach this unofficial because think about like a 0.33% boost um, on the individual stats gain. But still, this is like optimum situation we're playing that game. Um, so basically, how this sting is so important. When the Pulmonus Scorpius stings you, he has a primary attack and that's it. There is no secondary, tertiary. That's just how it is. Um, However much damage it does, it deals three times that in torpidity. So, this Carnotaurus just got 900 torpor to it. It does take a little bit of time to deal it to it. You'll see that he's starting to run away. And Night-Night. So, you can see it. He got knocked, knocked by that. Um, the, this Scorpion can pretty much knock out anything. Um... If you get it high enough level, it'll deal a ton of torpidity, um, which is super neat. Even other scorpions are technically knockable by this thing. Um, you can see that. There you go. Oh, I did too much damage to it. So what you want to do is, because it takes time for the torpidity to go up after a scorpion sting, you want to do the damage and then kind of like let it sit. So, for example, oh, no, he's going to be too high in the air. Let's say I want to go after an Argentavis or something like that. Um, come on. And it takes about 10 seconds for all of this torpidity to actually go to something. So you want to just take your nice, sweet time. I'm just trying to find something because there's not exactly speed. Um, people used to tame Gigas with this fashion. They would just hold one of these over the Gigabyte range where they could still hit the Giga. And that was always a hilarious way to tame Gigas. Um, you'll notice that this Argentavis... There we go. I stung it twice. It's super bloody. It should be torping up pretty quick here. Um, but you can literally just sting things into submission. Now, I've hit it twice, so it's just probably over 10-ish seconds going to gain some torpidity. Um, if it doesn't gain enough, maybe it's too high or loses torpidity too quickly. I'm, I'm taking that as it loses it too quickly. Um, so that's my judgment on this one. I'm going to kill this thing, unfortunately. Come on. There it goes. So, you can see that sometimes if it has too much health, um, it'll actually prevent this thing from, you know, getting knocked out. Or too little health, not too much health. But the Pulmo Scorpius, very interesting tame. It drops eggs that are considered medium size, um, which is pretty unique because uh, it has that ability to provide you with some kibble. Um, but the Pulmo Scorpius really only has two unique values. One a little bit of torpidity to knock some things out, and uh, two, it drops those eggs. Outside of that, it's not really the best thing. You can use it as a guard dog outside your base if you like lock it in a cage because it will trap somebody inside the claws. I'm sure you've had that happen. If you haven't been trapped in a Pullman Scorpius claws, you're really missing out. It's an awful experience. Um, basically, this is what happens. Um, you just literally get trapped inside of its claws. It's got to be one of the most frustrating things ever. Uh, an enemy Pulmonoscorpius can do the same thing to you. 
um, and you'll just hover over its range, just like you see here, and uh, that's kind of how it works. Um, it will do this to an enemy, just pull it up in the claws, but that's, you know, how it works. So, anyways, hopefully this video helps you out. This pulling scorpion is not really useful, but it does have that ability to knock things out, so it's kind of cool. Alright, anyways, teach. Out.